Hi, welcome back. You're watching Colts GRC. So, back to today's video. Yes, I bought another Hudson Zeno. So, this is a Zeno original. This is not a Zeno Pro. It's obviously not a Zeno 2. It's just the original Zeno. And the reason I bought one, another one, was twofold. One, because the first one I had when I sold it, I didn't really get the time and enjoyment out of it. It flew really nicely by the time I'd finished with it, but I just used it for reviews and then I never really got time to fly it for me, so I wanted to buy another one. And plus the fact I got this on a crazy deal just before Christmas for 198 quid with two batteries in a case. So you can't really go wrong with that. So here's what I want to talk about today though. So I've been going over Christmas and stuff and the downtime because there was no nice weather to fly. I've been going more on Facebook and going more on the hubs and forums and other stuff about there. And what you'll get is a lot of people, you'll get two people, two kinds of opinion on this. One, people say it's absolutely crap, and two think, two people saying it's the best drone they've ever flown. But it's neither. <laughs> it might be the best drone they've flown, that could well happen, but it's certainly not the best drone out there, and it's certainly not my favourite drone. Not by a million miles. In fact, for camera drones, as far as camera drones go, the ones I've got left, because I've got about ten left, this is probably my least favourite. So you're thinking, why do you buy it again? Well, the, the, the other reason I bought it again was because, at the minute, it's now chucking it down with snow outside. Uh, and if I want to go fly later, do I want to go fly with the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic 2 Zoom? Not really. But I'll chuck this up in the air, because if something goes wrong, it's 198 quid. Still a lot of money, but I'd rather lose that than this. If you buy one of these, and thinking you're going to get something of this quality, so this is the Mavic 2 Pro, and if you think it's going to get something of this quality, you're living in dreamland, because that isn't going to happen. Th these two drones, the Zoom and the Pro, are two of the best drones on the market. That, then they, they were priced, a high price for a reason, because of what they do really, really well, and that's videography. They're superb camera drones. This has got a decent image. It's not the best image in the world, it's decent. But then I, I've watched a lot of stuff on the Facebook groups and people say my video looks blurry. And they're in the UK and they're filming in the middle of winter and it's, it's not blurry at all. It's just the fact that this thing, sensor, is nowhere near as good as the other two. This thing needs a hell of a lot of light into it to get a decent image out of it. If you're going to fly this in a, dirt, a dirty grey day in the UK, the image isn't going to look the best. If you fly this in a bright sunny day, it's going to look great. And that's what you need to remember when you buy one of these. I think this is tremendous value. The Mavic 2 is out now. Um, sorry, the Mavic 2. Put Mavic on the brain. The Xeno 2 is out now. And I know that's a different level up from this. But this isn't the same price at the minute. This is fantastic for what it does. It flies... Well, it doesn't fly as locked in as the DJI or any of the other drones I've got. But it's locked in. It feels... Like it's not going to, I don't feel ever like I'm out of control of the drone. It doesn't loiter, it stays in one position. Is it as smooth in the turns as anything else? No, it isn't. But you've got to remember the price point. It's all about price point. This whole hobby is about price point. You get what you pay for to a certain degree. What this does really well is deliver what it says on the box. And that's all it does. It's going to deliver what it says on the box. You're not going to get anything great surprised out of it. It's not going to be earth shattering. But in this day and age, especially with drones from China, that's a good thing. Because how many drones have you seen reviews on where the camera looks appalling? It flies absolutely awful. And it's around this price point. There's hundreds of them. Because they don't deliver what they say they're going to do on the box. Delivering what it says in the box is actually a great thing. This thing doesn't pretend to be anything it's not. It really doesn't. It delivers a decent image. It flies decently well. It's got a decent flight time. The one thing that lets this down is it's absolutely appallingly bad controller. But even after a while, you get used to that. You get used to the, the Dino 2, by the way. The controller in, I saw in Chris, uh, Chris's video, the QC guy's video, he did his unboxing. The controller looks a million times better. You can just tell us by the way he was moving it in his hand how much better it feels. So the reason for doing this video is twofold. One, because uh, I wanted to tell you why I'd got another one, because you're going to see it back on the channel again. You're going to see videos from it. Uh, I didn't go for the Pro because I didn't feel like I needed it. I didn't want any more range. I don't use that for this. This is not something I'd fly away any kind of distance. This is something I'd, if I fly this and I fly these. So I, I bought it for that purpose. So I wasn't going to buy the Pro. I didn't see much point in it. 
and the Xeno 2 will buy the Xeno 2, possibly will at some point. I, I think it's a cracking deal what it came out for on the pre-orders, but at that time it wasn't really viable for me to purchase it. And I think it looks a cracking thing. So I've seen some videos, there's some real videos up there now actually, and unlike Jay Bird's one which was up there for ages, there's actually some real videos up there of people actually flying it. And the video footage looks great out of it, I think. I think it looks really good. I don't think it looks a million miles better than this, but it looks good. So, this is why I think this is still the best budget camera drone you can buy. And if you can still, you, and these are going to not go up in price, these are now going to come down in price. I think the target more popular, the Pro is actually more popular than this, so you're going to see this less. If I could tell you anything, I would buy this over the Xeno Pro every single day of the week. Every single day, because the added bonus of longer range really doesn't impress me that much, to be fair. Not on something like this. Obviously on something like this, then I'd be really annoyed if I was getting... I don't know, a kilometre's range out of these, but these things can do crazy long range, but I trust the fact that when these are flying at crazy long range, I know I'm fine with it, I'm in control, and I'm going to be no nasty little things happen to it. I'm not going to review this again, I'll go over it, I, I, I've done a review, I did it to death about 14 months ago, so I bought, so, but let me tell you this, I bought this, and if I was doing this review 14 months on, I wouldn't change my opinion that much, apart from the fact it now flies a lot better. But I think when I made that video, I said it was great, and it was a great introduction into the market, because someone was actually made a low price, that never changed. The only thing is, with this one, this flies a damn sight better than my first one did when I got it, and the camera's a damn sight better than my first one when I got it, because of firmware upgrades, and I had a dodgy camera on my first one. Um, and I have to have it, so I sent it back, I don't know if you remember, I sent it back after a couple of weeks and they gave me another one, which was fine, absolutely perfect. It's, it's hard to just describe in words really what this thing's meant to the drone community, because people are going to maybe disagree with this, but this changed a lot of things. Hate, love or hate this thing, it changed the drone community to a certain degree because it was affordable 4K drone. It was the first one that had a truly 4K, well, a, a truly 4K camera on it anyway. We expect a gimbal that had real stabilised quality, not a gimbal that floats around in the wind and looks like it's going to stutter all over the place, which is what you tend to see. It gives you an image, it doesn't roll, it gives you a nice, sharp image, provided you fly it in the right conditions. Don't fly this thing in the middle of a great snowy day and expect the image to look pin sharp it's not going to because the sensor needs too much light you get what you pay for so the quick bit it's just a quick video today i'm going to leave you some footage that i filmed with this on a grey day so remember the footage isn't going to look the best it's never going to do one of these things and i am going to do a video in the next well the next couple of weeks i'm hopefully going to do a video comparing this to the mavic mini and let's see what the big differences are there. I haven't done, I'm, I'm not saying that because I know that if I haven't, I haven't done the comparison video, I haven't put video side by side, I haven't bothered, but it'd be interesting to know, so, but I'll have to wait for the day to be something like a bit of winter sun, so I can get one up, land it, and get the other one up straight after, so we can have a real comparison of what they look like. And I'll film somewhere where I know, so when I watch the video, I'm gonna know the difference, I'm gonna know what it should look like in that place I'm flying. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Like I say, this isn't a plug for the hooks and there's no purchase link underneath. There's no affiliate link to this. I'm just saying that if you're after a cheap drone, remember it's a great price and you're getting what it says in the box. But it's not one of these. And I'm not going to pretend this is my favourite drone I've ever owned because it isn't. But it's a great price. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.